Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It is Memorial Day weekend and we are going to show you all the fun with the new pontoon boat. So hit that subscribe button and come along on this adventure with us. boat is in the water so excited and then Matt just started the engine so I'll show you how quiet it is you guys hear how quiet that is that is amazing So before we drive around on the boat, this is Matt's new GPS Bluetooth trolling motor. So right now he's configuring it so it knows where the front of the boat is and where the back of the boat is. He's using his phone along with like a remote thing, which I will show you in B-roll right here. So that's kind of what we're doing right now, just configuring it. Matt's teaching the trolling motor like through GPS on his phone and through the Bluetooth what is the front of the boat and what is the back of the boat. So we're kind of going in our own little circle and of course like the dog's getting in the way and stepping on the wire. So it's great. <laughs> and while we do this weather here is upper 60s. Windy. So that wind is kind of biting so I am wearing a little jacket. I did bring a hat because I wasn't exactly sure if my ears would get cold. but. As you can see, not a cloud in the sky, so it's just lovely. So Matt's all done, and he hit the anchor button on that remote, and so now because we've taught the trolling motor what's the front of the boat and what's the back of the boat, we should stay in this direction, because he basically taught the trolling motor that this is front, so it will move on its own to stay in this direction. It might not work the best just because it's really windy, but pretty cool, you can kind of see it already moving back and forth because it has already learned what's the front and what's the back yeah so that's really cool like he hit anchor on that remote thing and basically the trolling motor is like going back and forth and keeping us in this spot so it's kind of cool like Matt's not even doing anything he just hit a button and then the trolling motor does all the work so yeah technology is amazing and I brought snacks. This is beer dip. I'm hungry. I always have to bring snacks on the boat. And the dog just did her little hoppy thing because Matt brought out a fishing pole. Oh my gosh, she's so freaking excited. She can't wait. This would be the first fishing trip for Sydney. What is it? It's a wall. Let's measure it. It's, a, it's 18. It's 18 inches wide wall mm -hmm. Pretty cool. And there's Sydney. Going all crazy. Oh! <laughs> You put that in. <laughs> I got the net this time. Last time it was a this little one might not hectic. Be big enough. Okay. We're but still fun. Measure. I was still ready this time. Last time I was not ready. <laughs> 14. It's one inch too small. How big is it? 14 inches. Too small. Too small. This fish is looking good. I probably need to give him a little water. Or 18 inches that we'll eat. 
for breakfast sometime this weekend. Real quick, tell us how you're driving the trolling motor. Explain it a little bit better than I did before. But like you keep pressing a button on that little remote that's around your neck. Right, Show us. What do you keep telling it to float, let the wind take us, or I hit this little anchor button, and then when I hit the anchor button, it just stays in one spot. So the old trolling motor, you would have to like be next to it and use like the foot pedal, right? Like with your foot. Yeah. And this time you can use that little remote thing. You How... can actually use the foot pedal on here. Oh, you can too. And you could use your phone if you wanted to. Oh, that's what I was actually going to ask because I was like, how does the Bluetooth thing? That's so. That's how Bluetooth is involved. Is you use Bluetooth with your phone? It does. It knows where we are based on GPS. Gotcha. That's how it keeps, keeps track of when I hit the anchor button. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Big one. Big one. Yeah, I'm gonna need that to get him in, but he's pretty big. Kind of fun. He's a big bass. Pick him up. You gotta stick it down there so I can get him in there. There you go. Now lift him up. Oh. Lick it. Lick it. What are you gonna do with that? What are you gonna do with that? <laughs> Sixteen inches. Sixteen inches. But we won't keep him because he's a bass. Sydney. Yeah. Yeah, I don't keep bass. Yeah. Cool. Another one about the same size. Maybe the same one. No, they're not the same. Yeah. Pretty. Good morning from the lake. So good morning everyone. Yesterday we went out on the boat for the first time. Had such a fun time catching some fish. I was able to catch it on video. You are now able to see how crazy our dog gets whenever Matt picks up that fishing pole. That is pretty much our life whenever we have Sydney out on the boat with us. But this morning, um, it's still a little on the cooler side. It's only about 10 o'clock, but it's supposed to get to mid 60s, upper 70, no, excuse me. It's supposed to get to mid 60s, maybe 70. So it's supposed to be a little warmer. It feels beautiful, beautiful in the sunshine but I realized yesterday when we were out on the boat that with the new boat I don't have like a lot of my supplies stocked so I'm gonna kind of go through the boat and make sure that we have like sunscreen bug spray a hat um, just when you get a new boat I, I guess I just never thought about hey we need our normal supplies so that's what I'm gonna do this morning and then we'll show you some more footage because I am sure we'll be back on the boat again doing some fishing and doing some fun stuff to show you guys so it's always so nice to have like storage under the seats. Like we have storage under here and then storage under these seats. But you know, always need bug spray, sunscreen. Don't really need sunscreen in May, but we will in July and August. But I always like to have like a little hat and I put it in a Ziploc bag because if it rains, I don't want it to get wet. Um, one other thing, oop, I didn't bring it, but I always like to put a little towel in here too, just in case we spill a drink or, um, like fish guts or whatever. So I'm going to run back up to the cabin and grab a towel as well. And I'm sure as we go out and fish and start doing more stuff with this boat, I'll remember some more stuff, but always important to have supplies in your boat. And I actually love how the boat is like flush with the dock. With our old boat, we the boat would be, the fishing boat would be so much lower and so we'd have to take a big step down. I love how you can just be like, whoop, we're on the boat. That's probably one of my favorite parts because I always was worried that when I stepped down, I would like fall and then plop right into the water. We did try to watch the sunset on the back of the boat right here last night. Oh my gosh, the bugs are so bad. I think I made it 30 seconds and I'm like, nope, done. It's still really early. I had said in other vlogs that May, June, beginning of July, bugs are so bad. But, you know, towards the end of July, getting into August, they start to get really, really a lot better. And so hopefully we'll be able to watch the sunset on the back of the boat someday. So hey guys, it's our last day here. We are going to take one last boat ride around 
the lake. We're so sad that the weekend has come to an end, but we hope you have enjoyed this vlog showcasing our pontoon boat. First time that I am taking the pontoon boat out on the lake. But also before we go, we did cook some breakfast this morning and we cooked up that yummy walleye that we ended up catching this weekend. It was so, so good. I'm showing some B-roll right here. We used a new seasoning, Andy's red seasoning, like a breading for the walleye, which we've never used before. And it was so, so good. So I think that is what we are going to use for our breading from here on out. Looks like we have a little bit of a storm coming in. It did say on the weather report that we're gonna get some storms later this afternoon, so good thing we're doing our last boat cruise right now before all those storms come in. They look kind of dark. Clouds look kind of dark. So one thing that's been pretty amazing is just how quiet this boat motor is. The boat motor on our last fishing boat was louder. It was more horsepower, but I just can't believe, I mean, we're going somewhat slow, so we're not going fast, but even so, it's just so quiet and peaceful and relaxing. I absolutely love it. So hey guys, I am going to end the vlog right now. Thank you so much for joining us on this pontoon boat vlog. I hope you had a lot of fun. We certainly had a lot of fun sharing it with you. Don't forget to join our adventure family by hitting that subscribe button down below. We will see you next time. And remember, it's a beautiful world, so go out there and find your adventure. See you real soon. Bye. Can't get enough of this Being with you is like never in the sunshine Feels like everything stops for a while when you look